Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for Alpha 4 of Update 76 of Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure your speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, I had uh, basically need one more week of Alpha for this update just to make sure a bunch of things that I've been working on tuning in terms of loading behavior and some handling audio are where I need them to be. And so, because it needs one more week of this, I've got a couple more toys for you for this update. So let's jump to the first one. I know folks have wanted this forever, and it took me a while to get it because I just I, I kept couldn't find a model that I truly loved of it. But I finally do. That's right, we finally have the Makarov. This beauty here, let's take a close look at it, move it around with the lighting. Many ways, sort of silhouette-wise and elements of function, similar to a PPK, it was a Russian service pistol, or Soviet service pistol, uh, for quite a long time. Let's take some shots with it. Oh, shooting a little high. Wonderful. <laughs> I do not have practice with the irons on this, especially at five meters. There we go. Got a few in the center at the end there. So there you have it. Have this butte finally. I don't know, there's just something about it that despite only being eight shots, I just I am I'm quite a fan. We're going to pretend that first shot there didn't happen. Wonderful. And then to go with that, or rather at the same time, we have something uh, a little ridiculous, courtesy of Stefan. Uh, a lot of folks have asked since I added the M203 and the GP25 if I could put in a master key underbarrel shotgun. Now I cannot do this for a host of reasons related to how uh, guns are saved in the vault uh, and the way that magazines work in the game. It would require me tearing apart way too much code. And so I have the next best thing for you. And we're gonna use our VP9 here to demonstrate it. I have for you an original work, a collaboration between Stefan and I, the house key and the car key. That's right, it is an under barrel, single shot, 12 gauge. Like so, let's put a suppressor on this so this looks a little less ridiculous. There we go, especially something boxy. There we go, that looks less preposterous now. So this is ju just like an angled foregrip, except we can click left on the touchpad or joystick to flick it open. We can load, I know those of you who play Take and Hold, this is your favorite shotgun shell to get. Pop that in there, and we can either click left on the touchpad to close it, or we can actually use the inertia of the gun to close it. So, oh, what are we, there we go. So we're fighting, ha! Taken out, taken out targets. Oh no, it's someone's birthday and we didn't bring them a gift. Ah, birthday saved. We had some celebratory confetti for them. So there you have it. <laughs> the, uh, this is the, uh, the smaller one is the car key. The larger one is the house key, and these can be found in the uh, underbarrel attachments part of the item spawner, which I am happy to say with this alpha, I know you folks have been waiting for it, all of the new items from these past three weeks are now in the item spawner. We're still on the alpha branch, but they're in the item spawner, and even though that says disable there, the vault is re-enabled for testing. I hope everything works. If you've got a bunch of vault creations that you really adore and you wish to use this in the alpha, back them up first, just in case something gets corrupted. And so lastly, after our ridiculous toys, um, a number of you noticed with the new handling audio that has been added to things, certain sounds were a little bit too loud, especially when it came to racking bolts on bolt actions and even switching from sort of like primary to secondary grip. And so I have done a second pass to try to make things better. So I'm gonna demonstrate with our AK-74 here. So the first thing you'll notice is that 
the while the initial pickup sound is fairly loud, like that, grabbing the secondary grip is much quieter. In addition, passing objects to each other is also quieter. It's using a completely separate set of samples for that. So that's now far more intelligent in terms of conditionally being which sound you hear in terms of what type of interaction you are performing. Haha, -ha, paper didn't stand a chance. There's also a few new grab sounds. So you'll notice, say, on our Mac 11 here, when we grab the four, we don't hear the gun sound. We actually hear cloth. Hopefully that comes through in the recording. Honestly, the, 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 the headphones on the index are so great, I, uh, I sometimes am a little disappointed how certain things aren't quite as legible on my actual desktop uh, speakers. Ah, it isn't a Mac 11 day unless we don't fire into the ceiling. So there we have it. That is what this week's update is about, along with a bunch of bug fixes that I will talk about as I jump out of VR now. Yo! So as I said, we've got a few more things to talk about on the change log. The sort of big one that I mentioned before is that I have continued to tune the asynchronous loading system to try to smooth out a number of the bumps. Just a, a little bit of a sort of layperson's explanation about what I mean with that is that the way that H3 has worked in the past is that when you load into the game, I have preloaded a huge amount of data, like four or five gigs of assets, um, all firearms, objects, attachments, so that when I could say load them on demand from the item spawner or a gun case or something like that, um, they could just pop into existence instantly on the same frame without issue. That worked fine when the game had more like a hundred firearms in it. It was something that I could ensure that that amount of data fit in everyone's amount of RAM reasonably. That has ceased to be the case now that we're at about a 300 firearms, a hundred some melee weapons, well over a hundred attachments, um, etc. Even I was finding even folks with a substantive amount of RAM, uh, like 16 gigs of it, um, just because of the way that Windows, you know, ends up using virtual memory and probably a RAM from the actual scenes and modes and things like that, that it was no longer reliably uh, all fitting in RAM how I wanted to. And so I am now preloading a much smaller amount of data, which in last week's alpha showed that even on some fairly fast systems, that single frame instantaneous load uh, could cause a bit more hiccuping than I liked. And so for the item spawner and for take and hold, that has all been moved over to being fully asynchronous. I haven't gotten around to doing it for rot wieners yet because there's a few more places I need to do that with. But that should provide as smooth of an experience uh, for a game that can load something arbitrary from such a large collection as I'm probably going to be able to get it. But I would love to continue to hear uh, feedback from folks about the quality of experience, just like last week. Um, I already talked about the restructuring of the handling sounds, and there's more to come on that, uh, but I'm going to leave that all for update uh, 77 and onward. Um, fulfilled a few user requests just in terms of through a functional front sight onto the 1918 bar uh, shorty added some stock attachments points to like the SPAS-12 tactical and the super shorty shotguns, um, put some wiggle joint sling rings on a few guns that I missed those on, I fixed the attachment rails on the drill, um, fixed a couple bayonet bugs, uh, that annoying like perpetual haptic buzz bug with all of the break actions is dealt with, sorry about that. Um, yeah, and just a bunch of other little miscellaneous. So this is pretty much close to what I would call a release candidate for update 76. So unless there is a major bug that reveals itself over the course of this week, um, you know, or something I just didn't anticipate, update 76 will go to the main branch 
next Friday um, complete. Uh, and that will also be, I know a number of you have been waiting for like, where's the, the Me Fortress content? That will come with that next week. Uh, I have been slowly putzing away with, uh, with some medic related stuff, but I wanted to make sure all of this was 100% settled uh, and to be able to celebrate Update 76 coming out with that as well. So yeah, so that's about it um, uh, for, uh, for this week. Uh, those of you, once again, who have been running on the Alpha Branch and testing things for me, uh, thank you so much for all of your help in rooting out all of the bugs and behavior. This has been, so far, such a feature-dense release, and I've had to do a number of really scary things to the code base, and things seem to be mostly behaving, uh, which is wonderful. Uh, but it, it is nerve-wracking, and I, as always, am super thankful for all of your patience uh, with it. So, yeah, so hope you have fun with it, and I will uh, see you all next week. Peace.